hello everyone welcome to key to blocking and in this video i will show you how you can display anti ad block notice to your visitors and make your website whitelist in their ad blocker extensions and now google adsense also providing you the code to implement it in your website so that it can block your content if your visitors are using ad blocker so let's check how you can implement this and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button okay so let's start the video so as you can see i am using adsense in this website and let me just scroll down there is a ad showing here and if i turn on ad blocker here it will block all the ads in this page so if your visitors using ad blocker then the revenue will be going down in your website so to counter this you can use the ad blocker notice so earlier we used some third party tools third party script to block ad blocker extensions but now google adsense also providing you the ad blocker notice code inside the adsense dashboard so all you need to do is just log in to your adsense dashboard and here you will see this option privacy and messaging so click on here now you will see an option ad blocking recovery so just click on settings here now let's click on message here first now let's click on create message now it will ask you to add your website so let me just click on add site here let me just click my blogger website and i will click on add logo so just click on add here now it will ask you to upload your logo so let me just upload my logo here so this is the webp format image so let me just select this image here okay it is showing that webp is currently not supported here so let me just upload a png version of my logo so let's click on here and upload the png logo here and as you can see they are uh, saying that you can upload png or jpg and it should be less than 150 kb and in the 5 is to 1 recommended aspect ratio so let's click on logo here and i will click on ok ok now the logo is added you can also do the same with your wordpress website so let's click on confirm here now you can choose your language so let me just choose my language like english and i will select like english united states and let's click on continue now you can also add a custom solution by clicking on this button but we will talk about this later so let's click on continue first and as you can see it will show a ad blocker notice like this please allow ads on our websites looks like you are using an ad blocker we rely on advertising to help fund our site and you can also select this button allow ads and in the right side here you will see this option site settings and here you can change the language and here you can set the placement like bottom pinned so it will pin this message in the bottom or you can click on center model not dismissible so if you select this one then user have to um, disable the ad blocker before using this website and if you don't want to strict like that then you can choose a dismiss button so in my case i will select center model not dismissible and you can also add custom choice here and you can also ask your visitor to subscribe and you can add your custom subscribe link here so that user can purchase the subscription and if they if the user don't want to see ads then they can subscribe your blog so i don't want that now you can also click on background color here so let's choose a background color here and let's click on save here and as you can see the background color is now changed so let me just choose some light color here like this and you can also add a border here and let's define the border like one pixel and you can also change the logo alignment you can also change the text font and you can change the body and buttons you can everything you can design the ad blocker notice here now let's click on publish here and let's click on ok now let's click on tagging here and let's copy this code and you need to paste this code in your head section or body or footer section 
wherever you want so let me just show you how you can do this in your blogger website first and then i will show you in wordpress so for this let me just go to theme here and i will click on edit html i will scroll down all the way to the bottom and search for closing body tag or you can also paste it just below the head tag if you want so i will paste it in body tag now let's click on save changes now let's click on back and if you want to implement it in wordpress then you can go to appearance and here you will see this option theme file editor and here you can see this option footer.php or header.php so let's click on footer.php here and here you will see your closing body tag here it is and you can paste that code just above the closing body tag and click on update file and you can also use some plugins so in my case i am using the pop matters plugin so let me just go back and i will go to assets here and i will scroll down and i will add my code in the footer section or header section in this box so you can use any code manager plugin to insert your code in header or footer section so let's go to the website and let's open a page here and let me just scroll down and as you can see it will show a message like this please allow ads on our website and let's click on allow ads here and you can see that it will show you an instruction how to allow ads in ad block ad block plus or u block origin and you can see others like this so let's click on refresh here and it will show again showing the same message so you need to whitelist this website so what i can do is pause on this side so i will click on always here and as you can see it will not show again if i whitelist my website in ad blocker extension so currently it is not working perfectly with u block origin so for this you need to paste an another code called error protection message so if some ad blocker extension will block your javascript then you can use this code in your theme code so that it will show an error message to the visitors if the ad blocker extension will block this javascript also so you can just copy this code and paste it in body tag or head tag so i hope you have understand how to show a ad blocker notice to your visitors and you can improve your ad revenue just by showing a message like this and it will show that total number of message shown and extension rate and allow list conversion rate so if someone whitelist your website then it will show the percentage of whitelist website and so the number of message shown to the visitors so i think it will take some time to show the data in adsense dashboard so it will take some time to show the data here and you can also click on view report and here you will see this time range you can select the time range and you can download your report to your computer and it will help you improve your revenue and force the user to block the ad blocker extension in your website and they can whitelist your website so that you can get more revenue and improve your blog or website so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and i will see you in the next video thank you